Hi everybody, it's Jan Farrakuti from Bridal Elegance and we're here for our Wednesday webinar. And today we're going to talk about accessorizing. We're going to show you how you can take a beautiful dress like this and fill it with all the accoutrements to make it the dream dress for every princess. And this is Holly, our bridal Hi. manager. And we have um, Courtney as our model, Shelly, and Jenny. Hey, just hiding here somewhere. Maybe <laughs> she got called. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Sierra's so taking the webinar, so Sierra put it on the other way so they can see you because she just got her hair and it's beautiful. Show me your hair. Come on, do the flop. Show them your hair. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to start and I'll let Shelly take over and you guys all chime in. Okay, so we have Courtney in this beautiful cathedral length veil. Now, this veil has a blusher. And you sometimes question, do the brides wear blushers these days? Well, it's up to the bride. But we do have a pretty big call for the blusher. And then, just to get her down the aisle. And then, magically, here she is. No tears. <laughs> No tears. And notice the little um, embellishment. We put a little comb here. So when you do take the veil off at the reception, that can remain in her hair. All right, so. What length is the veil? This is a cathedral, well, I don't know if we have an actual length. This is called a cathedral veil. Um, so it had the blusher, which will basically come to her fingertips. Um, and then this veil, I don't know if we can be able to show you around the back, but this veil, will be actually longer than the length of this ball gown. We'll take that veil off. And then like um, Holly was saying, Courtney has this hair piece that will stay on the entire night. Even when she takes the veil off after the ceremony, you can leave that hair piece in the entire night. So that's just a hair clip, but we have lots of different pieces. Um, whether you want a little piece or if you want it to be um, fill the hole, like you wouldn't do something in the back, we have all different pieces you can add to that. So, you want to talk about another piece that's on the dress? Earrings. Um, I think another good piece for um, to accessorize with your wedding dress would be her earrings. Uh, she has a very dramatic earring, so you could do that route or you could do something a little more simple. It just really depends on you and I would think your hairstyle too. So if you were wanting to wear your hair up, you could have something that dangled a little more or with your hair down. I think it's really just personal preference or if you were gonna do a bracelet and about with it and kind of tie it all in together. Which and a, kind of a general rule of thumb, if you do a long dangle earring, you probably won't do a necklace. If you do yeah. a stud earring, you might want to do a small necklace, but it's totally up to the bride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the bracelet. So look how beautiful that bracelet matches that. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to be a total strip show. We're only going down to the dress. So <laughs> Watching, yeah. <laughs> this is bridal elegance. You know. Okay, so and then we did add a belt to this dress also. It's a beautiful dress without the belt, but of course we were accessorizing today, so we did add this. So here you can see the dress then without the belt. That's how you like it. So we did add that. And what we have left is a beautiful satin wedding gown uh, with a sweetheart neckline little modified in the front so it's got the little um, squared out piece in the middle of the decolletage. It also has the princess seaming, double seaming up the uh, torso which is very slimming and it also helps in altering. But as you see this dress has a great fit. It has some slight gathers at the waist and if you can turn around for me, show them the back of the gown. Has beautiful bridal buttons all the way down the dress. As you can see, the it's a luster satin. It's just a beautiful wedding satin. And one of the best features Courtney said was the you got it pockets. Uh huh. The pockets. <laughs> every girl wants a pocket on her ball gown. Well, maybe not every one of us. And there's one couple things left for the girls to talk about. So I'll let them talk about it. All right. So ball gown you can see this dress is a beautiful ball gown and it stacks out beautifully but we helped this dress stack out a little bit more 
by adding a slip. So your ball gowns will have a lot of these layers of tulle, but if you would like a little bit more, we have this right here is the slip. So the slip is an added little bit more. So if you wanted to stack out a little bit more, or maybe even need the dress to come up off the floor um, another half inch or inch by adding a slip, you can take care of both those um, by just adding a slip. A lot of times we add the slip because it does save the girl from having her dress hemmed. Also, it really helps the dress hold its shape while you're walking down the aisle and it keeps the dress away from your legs as you're walking. And a little more ventilation when it's hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep some air flow going because it does get warm. And then there. under there we also had some great shoes. Oh, oh yeah, stick some feet up. <laughs> so look at those beautiful bridal sparkly shoes. Excellent. Do a little happy feet dance. <laughs> Woo! Happy feet dance! <laughs> and Courtney is engaged, so you guys that are watching this, you know, you'll have She's to... She's not available. No. <laughs> but um, maybe this will be on her list. We don't know for her wedding day. We'll see. She's trying a bunch of different gowns on, so... And we do these webinars for you, our customers, and ladies who are getting married. So if you have any questions or comments, anything you want to know about, hear about, or if you just want to comment something you did for your wedding we'd love to hear it so communication is key and check us out at www.bridalelegance.us.com we also have a big uh, Facebook presence check us out there or you can use our texting platform to receive texts on all the um, upcoming events sales etc just text the word bride to 88202 that's 88202 and uh, we'll be glad to send you everything we've got coming up we want to talk about our preservation kit. Yes, good idea, Shelly. All right, so we have these preservation kits. So when you have a beautiful gown like this, of course you'd like it to look like this for long term. So after the wedding, you can purchase one of these preservation kits. So this is something you can take with you. All the information that you need to know about is in these boxes. Um, it'll be sent out um, from you. You'll send it out and it'll get cleaned and sent back to you. Well, we offer our $50 coupons to all of our okay. brides that purchase, so definitely stop in. You, you'll want to keep your dress. So you do. We want to keep it nice, and this will keep it And good. this will preserve it, and so it won't discolor. So because an heirloom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So definitely take advantage of that, and um, make sure you get your $50 coupon. And we'll keep doing these webinars as long as you guys want us to. Bye. Awesome. Bye. Bye. <laughs>